Udine, Italian, Udine, listen, Friulian, Uden, German, widened in Friol, Latin, Udinum, Slovene, Vitum, is a city and commune in northeastern Italy, in the middle of the Friuli Venezia Giulia region, between the Adriatic Sea and the Alps. Alpi Carnage. Its population was 100,514 in 2012, 176,000 with the urban area. Names and etymology Udine was first attested in medieval Latin records as Udine in 983 and as Udinum around the year 1000. The origin of the name Udine is unclear. It has been tentatively suggested that the name may be of pre-Roman origin, connected with the Indo-European root asterisk dh. Utter. Used in a figurative sense to mean. Hill. The Slovene name Vidim, with final M, is a hypercorrection of the local Slovene name Vidan, with final N, based on settlements named Vidim in Slovenia. The Slovene linguist Pavla Mercu characterized the Slovene form Vidim as an idiotic 19th century hypercorrection. History Udine is the historical capital of Friuli. The area has been inhabited since the Neolithic age, and is believed to have been settled by Illyrians. Based on an old Hungarian legend, Attila, minus 453, the leader of the Huns, built a hill there, when besieging Achilleia, because he needed a winter quarters billet, he instructed his soldiers to bring soil in their helmets and shields, because the landscape was too flat, without any hill. He established the town there, and built a square shaped tower. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the area increased in importance after the decline of Achilleia and afterwards of Cividale also. In AD 983, Udine was mentioned for the first time, with the donation of the Udinum Castle by Emperor Otto II to the Patriarchs of Achilleia, then the main feudal lords of the region. In 1223, with the foundation of the market, the city became finally the most important in the area for economy and trade, and also became the patriarch's seat. In 1420, it was conquered by the Republic of Venice. In 1511, it was the seat of a short civil war, which was followed by an earthquake and a plague. Udine remained under Venetian control until 1797, being the second largest city in the state. After the short French domination which ensued, it was part of the Austrian puppet Lombardy Venetia Kingdom, and was included in the newly formed Kingdom of Italy in 1866. During World War I, before the defeat in the Battle of Caporetto, Udine became the seat of the Italian High Command and was nicknamed Capitale della Guerra, War Capital. After the battle, it was occupied by the Germans in 1917 and Austrians in 1918 until after the Battle of Vittorio Veneto in 1918. After the war it was made capital of a short-lived province Provincia del Friuli, which included the current provinces of Gorizia, Perdinone and Udine. After September 8, 1943, when Italy surrendered to the Allies in World War II, the city was under direct German administration, which ceased in April 1945. Geography Climate Udine has a humid subtropical climate Copen, CFA. Precipitation is abundant year-round with spring and fall being the wettest seasons. The highest temperature recorded was 38.2 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit on July 21, 2006 while the lowest temperature recorded was minus 18.6 degrees Celsius minus 1 degree Fahrenheit on December 19, 2009. Demographics in 2007, there were 97,880 people residing in Udine itself, whereas the greater area has a population double its size. Located in the province of Udine, Friuli Venezia Giulia, of whom 46.9% were male and 53.1% were female. Minors, children ages 18 and younger, totaled 14.36% of the population compared to pensioners who number 24.27%. This compares with the Italian average of 18.06% minors and 19.94% pensioners. The average age of Udine residents is 47 compared to the Italian average of 42. 
In the five years between 2002 and 2007, the population of Udine grew by 1.48%, while Italy as a whole grew by 3.56%. The current birth rate of Udine is 9.13 births per 1,000 inhabitants compared to the Italian average of 9.45 births. The town and its nearby area have a Slovene population estimated at about 2,000. A 1475 document mentions Slovene as the language of the lower class in the town, and the Udine manuscript of 1458 contains Slovene vocabulary. Alasia da Samaripa's Italian Slovenian dictionary was printed in Udine in 1607. A chair for Slovene was established at the University of Udine in 1970. As of 2006, 90.90% of the population was of Italian descent. The largest immigrant group came from other European nations, particularly those from Austria and Croatia, 5.37%, followed by Sub-Saharan Africa, mostly from Ghana, 1.65%, and North African, 0.77%. Main sites the old residence of the Patriarchs of Achilleia, the Palazzo Patriarchale, was erected by Giovanni Fontana in 1517 in place of the older one destroyed by an earthquake in 1511. Under the Austrians it was used as a prison. In the cathedral archives was formerly preserved a recension of the Visigothic Code of Laws, called the Breviary of Alaric, in a manuscript known as the Codex Udinensis, which was printed before it was lost. In the 1550s, Andrea Palladio erected some buildings in Udine. The Church of Santa Maria della Parita has 18th-century frescoes by Giambattista Tipolo and his son Domenico. The church dedicated to Saint Mary of the Castle is probably the oldest in Udine, judging from extant fragments dating back to the Lombard era. It lost its parish status in 1263, when it was annexed to the larger parish of Santa Dorico, now the cathedral. It has been renovated many times over the centuries. The facade, for example, was entirely rebuilt after the 1511 Idrija earthquake. Its three naves preserve the suggestive atmosphere of silence and contemplation, which is often found in old churches. The Venetian governor, Tommaso Lippomano, commissioned the Venetian Gothic portico with steps and ramps leading down the hill in 1487. In the principal square, Piazza della Liberta, stands the town hall, Loggia del Lionello, built in 1448–1457 in the Venetian Gothic style opposite a clock tower Torre dell'Orologio, resembling that of the Piazza San Marco at Venice. It was begun in 1448 on a project by Niccolo Lionello, a local goldsmith, and was rebuilt following a fire in 1876. The new design was projected by the architect Andrea Scala. Opposite the Loggia del Lionello is the Loggia di San Giovanni, a Renaissance structure designed by Bernardino da Morcote. Other noteworthy monuments in the square are the fountain by Giovanni Carrara, an architect from Bergamo 1542, the columns bearing the Venetian lion and the Statue of Justice 1614, the statues of Hercules and Caicus and the Statue of Peace 1819, which was donated to Udine by Emperor Francis I to commemorate the Peace Treaty of Campoformido. The Cathedral of Udine is an imposing edifice whose construction started in 1236, on a Latin cross-shaped plan with three naves and chapels along the sides. The church was consecrated in 1335 as Santa Maria Maggiore. At the beginning of the 18th century a radical transformation project involving both the exterior and the interior was undertaken at the request and expense of the Monon family. The Baroque interior has monumental dimensions and contains many works of art by Tipolo, Amaltio, and Ludovico Dorini. On the ground floor of the Bell Tower, built from 1441 over the ancient baptistry, is a chapel which is completely adorned with frescoes by Vitali da Bologna 1349. The center of Udine is dominated by the castle, built by the Venetians from 1517 over a Lombard fortification ruined by an earthquake in 1511. The current Renaissance appearance dates from the intervention of Giovanni da Udine, who finished the works starting from 1547. The castle houses one of the most ancient parliament halls of Europe. Other points of interest Orto Botanico Friulano, a botanical garden Parco Botanico Friulano
Cormer, a park and botanical garden. Culture Udine has a university, the University of Udine. The Archbishop's Palace and the Museo Civico have quite important paintings. The city has a theater, the Teatro Giovanni da Udine. Important festivals include the Wine and Food September Festival, Friuli D.O.C., the National Literary Prize for Nonfiction Premio Friuli Storia and the biggest European festival of popular East Asian cinema, the Far East Film Festival, in April. Asteroid 33100 Udine was named in honor of the city. Along with Italian, Friulian is often spoken in Udine, as well as a variant of Venetian called Venetian that is however in decline. Museums Savici Musa e Gallerie di Storia e Arte since 1906 with Museo Archeologico, Galleria d'Arte Antica, Galleria dei Disegni e della Stampa, Museo Friulano della Fotografia, Fototeca e Collezioni Risorgimentali. Museo di Arte Moderna e Contemporanea Museo Etnografico del Friuli Palazzo Giacomelli Gallery del Progetto Museo del Duomo di Udine Museo Diocesano e Gallery del Tipolo Economy Udine is important for commerce, with several commercial centers in the hinterland. There are also iron and mechanical industries, Danieli and Abs are the most important. Transport With 7,600,000 traveling people every year, Udine Railway Station is the most important station in Friuli Venezia Giulia. Train services operate to Venice, Treviso, Trieste, GE Mona del Friuli, Tarvisio, Cividale del Friuli, Padua, Bologna, Rome, Verona and Milan. International trains operate to Vienna and Munich. Gallery Sport the main football club in the city are Udinese Calcio, founded in 1896, who play in the Serie A 2017-2018 season. Their ground, the Stadio Friuli, was a venue at the 1990 FIFA World Cup. The local basketball team, Apu GSA, played in the second national league, the Legado. Notable people Luigi de Agostini, born 1961, football player. Afro Basaldella, 1912 to 1976, painter. Giuseppe Battistin, born 1968, actor. Enzo Berzo, 1927 to 2010, national football trainer. Girolamo di Bernardino, 16th century painter of frescoes. Bernardino Blasio, 16th century painter. Emanuele Blandimura, born 1979, boxer. Jose Brigado, born 1915, cellist and composer. Carlo Caniva, 1845-1922, Major General. Luca Carlovarius, 1663-1730, painter. Elena Cicchini, born 1992, cyclist Andrea Sentazzo, born 1948, drummer and composer Bruno Chizzo, 1916–1969, football player Giovanni da Udine, 1487–1564, painter, Renaissance Raimondo Daronco, 1857–1932, architect Mario David, 1934 to 2005, football player and coach. Alfredo Foni, 1911 to 1985, football player and coach. Fabio Fratelli, 1966 to 2013, better known by his pseudonym Modu, an Italian musician. Massimo Giacomini, born 1939, former football player and sports commentator. 
Francesco Janic, born 1937, football player. Delilah Di Lazzaro, born 1953, actress and model. Ernesto Lomasti, 1959-1979, mountaineer. Fabio Massati, born 1974, cyclist. Daniele Petri, born 1980, Italian darts player. Alberto Matsucato, 1813-1877, composer and music teacher. Tina Madotti, 1896-1942, photographer, actress, revolutionary. Francesco Pavona, 1695-1777, Baroque painter. Luigi Pio Tessitori, 1887-1919, Indologist, linguist. Alessandro Pugh, born 1996, football player. Bruno Pizzul, born 1938, sports journalist and football player. Bruno Sacco, born 1933, car designer. Alessia Tudino, born 1983, football player. Elena Valentini's 1396 to 1458, Roman Catholic blessed professed religious. Glauco Venier, born 1962, jazz pianist and composer. Giuseppe Virgili, 1935 to 2016, Italian footballer, striker. Alessandro Zani, born 1948, rugby union player. International relations. Twin towns, sister cities. Udine is twinned with. References. Further reading Udine. Northern Italy, 14th ed., Leipzig, Karl Baedeker, 1913. External links Udine homepage Udine on Italia. It Udine, Italy, a cultural guide by Sunday Telegraph.